Welcome, my beautiful souls. Today, we are going to talk about the year 2025, right around the corner. Uh, 2025 will be a universal year nine. How you figure that out? You take the year, you add the two plus the zero plus the two plus the five, that equals nine. So that brings us to universal year nine, and it is unlike any other. It is the end of a nine year cycle. It can bring resolution, accomplishments, and focus. Real fulfillment also. Um, This is a year where focus may really be on the community and its greater good. But don't forget to also take care of you. Uh, Health problems can arise when you have a tendency to overthink in this year, not trust in your abilities. Um, Just trust your intuition this year. It is going to be a very creative year. uh, And it's usually not driven by money. So you may find yourself doing something or feel all to something that again money is not the issue though money will follow you know i feel like this is a year where if you have any type of a spiritual practice whether that be reiki massage tarot reader um psychic uh healer teachers doctors, nurses, massage therapist, anywhere where you're helping your fellow man and woman, you will be called into action this year. Um, So I hope you feel that call. This year is really a gateway to a new life because after 2025, we then move into a universal year one. We just want to be ready. And that's what this year is getting us ready for. Um, it is a clean slate, so to speak. This is a time to reflect back on all the ways that you have grown uh, through the last nine years. What have you achieved in the last nine years? This is not about judgment. This is so you can be proud of yourself. You know, who are you today? because of the experiences of those last nine years. This is an ideal year to really align your efforts with the greater good, be part of the solution. That's the key. Um, It's also a very highly spiritual time for many, really for everyone, but not everyone is connected to their spirituality. Yet, I have a feeling by the time the year is done, they will be um so a very strong energy of releasing healing remember just remember that you've gone through the life paths of the one through the eight so symbolically the nine is all of the worldly experiences your past your present and your future Nine is also associated with karma, Um, but this karma is really energetic programming that's carried from one lifetime to the next. This is, um, nine really clears the way and the space so that you can reach that next level. And I mean that on an earthly plane, but I also mean that on a spiritual plane. Nine does not leave you empty. It truly leaves you full of wisdom. If you have spiritual gifts, maybe you're psychic, you're intuitive, um, whatever it may be, you will probably be called to use it. So to me, it means it's going to be amplified. Again, it's because the people will need the healers of the world. They're going to need you. Um, This is a natural force happening. And really what we're doing is we're looking into the unseen realms. Exciting. Exciting. Um, Money. 
this will be, I feel, a good time to invest in technology. I feel like it's going to start growing even faster. Um, though, do your research for sure. I don't feel like a lot of people are going to be thinking about Massage, money. Massage. But, you know, we need money to survive. So, if you do invest, you know, or you've thought about investing, you may want to look in those areas, but that's just one area. Um, many will be turning more to also holistic types of healing. So, it's almost like we're saying goodbye to the big pharma. And we're finding, um, well, those healers out there who can help us through Reiki, through past life regression. Uh, there's many different ways. Um, you know, it just reminds me of my boyfriend being on a medication that has just kind of destroyed his life. And we, I said, just go off of it and let's find a holistic approach. This is what I feel like the year is calling for. Uh, so, of course, check with your own doctor, but I do feel like it's this is the type of energy that's gonna happen naturally. Uh, things that are built on corruption will possibly collapse and have total exposure. Think of the sun when it comes out in a tarot reading for those who watch tarot. The sun is the illuminator and it illuminates everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So anything corrupt will be illuminated. Anything done in the dark will come to the light. The, you know, this is the evolution of consciousness. This really is the grand finale of the cycle. We are wrapping things up so that you can really start fresh. You know, it's a sense of real freedom. It's a sense of the old soul. It is about spiritual awakenings. And I feel like healers, again, you're going to be called. You're going to feel this calling. But I also feel the world will respond to you. So those who need your services, They'll find you. They'll reach out. I feel like just, you know, put yourself out there maybe. So, to wrap this up, again, a great year. A year of spiritual awakening. You know, if there's anything that is left that you know should go, this may be the right time to do it. 2025 is right around the corner. So, I thank you. I love you all, and I wish everyone the best in 2025. Thank you. Bye-bye.